up. Uh, inflation still well below the ECB's target. Uh, will we get a rate cut next week? It's not going to make much of a difference whether we do or not in terms of either the uh, likelihood of increasing jobs, creating jobs, boosting growth or changing market sentiment because uh, it's likely to have a marginal benefit given how low uh, rates are in any event. So that's not actually going to be the answer. Uh, there seems to be a greater requirement, not on the monetary policy side, but probably the fiscal side. And that's what they really need to focus on. But they can't because their their hands are, are, are tied because they don't want to have lower tax revenue. I don't feel that where they think an activity will, will uh, not have any positive benefits to the broader economy will, will force their hands. So I think they'll just keep things on, on hold. OK, um, we've got a breaking story uh, on the banking side today. Uh, Lloyds, the British bank Lloyds, is selling $5 billion worth of MBS portfolio in the States, um, raking in a profit of around $2 billion. Pretty good news, yeah? It, it's been good news for Lloyds because they've really focused uh, on what uh, uh, on their core activities. We heard uh, the, yesterday that they're going to sell uh, the private banking arm. Uh, they're really uh, getting out of some of the international markets, like in the Middle East, where which were non-core. Uh, and so, what I think we'll continue seeing is uh, them shoring up their capital adequacy ratios, which is what's really been the driving force behind all of this. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, the share price has gone up some hundred and forty odd percent in the last twelve months. Uh, so this is all uh, positive news for the bank, actually. The government won't necessarily uh, wait to, to get a, a, a return on this. They'll try and structure it in such a way that you can both return it to the private sector and, if need be, uh, get some kind of return uh, further down the line. Uh, so I don't think they're necessarily going to wait to get a positive return before they, they sell. I think they're keen to get uh, it into private hands well before the next general election. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and, I, and I think that's exactly what they will end up doing. But I think they'll end up getting a return in any event because the trend uh, for this uh, stock and also the broader market, certainly by year end, is that it could easily be at least another 10% higher. This selling may go away. Um, what, what's happened to that old adage? Uh, and you're absolutely right. Statistically, that adage works. Uh, but this is going to be one of those uh, exceptional years, I think, where it won't work for the reason that, first of all, our expectations are so low that earnings are exceeding them relatively easily, which is pushing up prices. And also valuations uh, remain pretty good because of earnings. Uh, so you've got fundamental reasons why uh, you should be buying on dips and you'll probably get a good summer, uh, um, not in terms of the weather, of course, but in terms of the stock market. So I think it's going to be a, a, a pretty good time over the next five months.